Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is the Be Better Golf Show, and uh, what I do here is I interview unique and famous voices in the world of golf, and I also vlog my own personal journey to get better. What you're going to watch today is I played nine holes just uh, yesterday at El Dorado Park Golf Course, one of my favorite places here in Long Beach, and uh, what I do in my vlogs uh, always is I um, shoot every single shot that I hit, you get to see exactly as it happened on the course and then uh, we go back over it and let's watch and see how I did. And one, two, play. All right, so this is me at El Dorado. Yesterday morning I went out, uh, this is like pretty early in the morning, 6 a.m. If you saw that first practice swing I took, it was real fast, it was real uh, fast hands, and that's what I've been working on a lot more and more, is that I realized that I have slow hands, I have fast hips and slow hands, so, and that's the result of that right there, that I, I topped that one, so I hit hybrid off the, the first, uh, hybrid off the 10th hole, my first hole of the day, just perfect, probably 230 down the middle, and then, uh, topped one but it stayed straight so I still have this 171 with the six iron and I was a little late with that same thing fast hips and slow hands I need to get my I don't want to slow down my hips I want to speed up my hands so lock that one right into the bunker and I love when I play golf and the bunkers are wet for some reason it's just uh, it's way easier and then I also notice on the PGA Tour they're always wet because they go out with closes and they wet them down so that just made a great a great sound and that was the best bunker shot I hit probably of the year. These are the guys that I'm playing with of a pretty nice uh, pretty nice group that spoke no English at all. Right? And that's it. Par. So five shots. Probably uh, should have had with two solid hybrids, should have had a pretty simple uh, 50, 50 yarder to get up and down for uh, for birdie but after blocking it in that bunker and topping one uh, par is definitely good with me all right semi short a semi shortish par four here so I got my three wood out and uh, I cut, I, I kind of cut that one. You could see, like, I did that kind of, yeah, like, body a, uh, stall. I have a YouTube channel oh. where I do stuff all about my, my golf swing, and I interview, like, famous people on there, and then I uh, kind of chart my progress trying to get better. Those guys were wondering what the, what the, why there's a camera attached to my golf bag. All right. 138 yards, 8 iron, so you can see how much I was choking up on that, and I, I hit that really well. Uh, I thought it was even closer than it ended up being. This is like a, a six-stepper, something like that, 18-footer or so. And uh, I've been really concentrating on my putting, oh, on keeping my head still. If you keep your head still really rock solid, you give it much, much better of a chance of going up. So that was that was a that was a good putt and uh, at least a good birdie chance. Fairway green birdie chance. I would love to do that way way more often. Okay, so this is a uh, kind of a toughish par three. Uh, the the holes in the front normally it's about like two oh seven, but the holes in the front says so one ninety five. I didn't love that swing. It was very solid but it was left. Uh, later in this video, you'll see I have a slow mo vi uh, motion video of me oh, yeah. hitting that same sh shot, dead solid left. I've been doing it less uh, since I've been keeping my head from going this way, but uh, see if you guys can figure out why. I'm See, it's pin high. It's uh, solid, it was just yanked. So, I didn't hit that hard enough with my putter from the green, from the fringe. Didn't hit it hard enough, didn't hit it high enough. So, going out to market. I've been working so hard on my ball striking recently that I haven't really worked on my putting at all. And usually I think I like, you know, 
don't really need to work on my putting. I'm good at that. But it's important to work on your strengths as well as your weaknesses. I mean, golf is difficult. There's no way to, to get around it. You have to work on every part of it. And uh, any part that gets left behind or it gets neglected, you're gonna you're gonna pay for it. Uh, great light when you go out to shoot this early in the morning. You guys can see. So uh, this is for par. Probably should have cut this out, but th this is my whole routine. I, I look at it from the other side of the hole. I look at it from behind behind the ball. Kind of get a little spot between me and the hole that I want to roll it over. So now I'm just thinking about rolling it over that spot. And you put all that together. This is like a uh, four-footer. Yanked it. Just by a little bit, but uh, shut the face too early on that. This is the hardest hole at, at the golf course. Now if you look, down there on the left there is water that is uh, drivable. Here's the water and then there's the hole up there and so what I want to do usually here is you either have to kind of hit a fade or you just have to hit it so solid that you have no chance of going in that water so slow motion view here of my swing so I didn't suck it too far inside there at P2 that was pretty good and then watch the reroute of the club head it comes around which uh, kind of net effect of pulling it left it's actually that tree there that it looks like it's going to go directly into is further out than it looks. So it sails over that tree, and uh, because I, I, I hit that super solid, because I hit it so solid, it went over the water, thank God, because I wasn't sure. But uh, I've been doing that. If you see my routines, recently the Patrick Harrington drill for my driver has just been helping me so much. So there's the water, and that's how much I missed it by. There's my ball right, right there, bottom left of the screen. So, uh, but I have this uh, kind of Halloween tree in my way. So this is a five iron from 136. That was a really good impact. Uh, I've been struggling on my punch shots recently, so this uh, really felt great to to get my impact just feeling really good. So I just when I in my practice swings, I tried to feel how far away the ball was from the ground and just uh, take a short swing and accelerate my hands to like a definite finish. That's how you hit a punch shot. You gotta know where you're gonna stop your swing after you hit the ball and you swing to that point and stop. And it got in the green. So uh, this is for birdie from pretty far far away, not like super far away though. Probably like a 13 stepper or 12 stepper. And more, more like 10. And uh, and I didn't hit a good one there. I just think I'm a line right at all, and I got out of my routine on that one. So it was a it was a bad lag putt, and that really hurts. To, you could see my head moved as I hit that one. I looked up on it. I was still so upset about hitting such a bad lag putt. So like that, I've I've played really well, and uh, I'm already two over. So that one I blocked right. You can see I was hip spin out to the left with uh, my hands stuck which uh, makes me tow it and hit it to the right. So watch the takeaway. You're going to see a little bit more suck in than I want to as far as the head at uh, the head going inside the hands, just a little bit more than I want to. And then watch my posture. I kind of stand up. I'm not bent over that much. And see, I'm, I'm kind of very stood up. I'm spun out and stood up. And uh, the net result of that, those two things, is just cutting across it just a little bit. It was solid, but it was blocked. Luckily, it hit a tree right up there, and uh, it hit a tree on the right, and it just knocked it straight down instead of kicking it further to the right. Uh, just knocked it straight down, so I have this 151-yard 8-iron. It's a little bit above my feet, and there's no grass under the ball. Where the ball is, there's a little bare spot. But I had a really great swing thought when I hit that one. I was thinking of Monty's No Turn and Cast, how you go like this. Really good. Uh, if you do it wrong and you go like this, thinking about you right, watch this. Elbow not going like this, but like this. And that width is really huge. So if we watch a replay of that, watch my right arm work towards the target. Really, it's kind of like, uh, I was just hearing the, uh, the long drive champion from last year talk about golf as a throwing motion or more of a pitching motion 
rather than a swinging or a hitting motion. If you think that you're skipping the ball and you're throwing it to the target, it can really help. So that's another one from the fringe. My, my ball mark from where I hit the, the green was that far away from, from the hole. And then it just, because a uh, little, little bit of grass, it jumped. So there you go. Uh, hit a great putt from the fringe and then no penalty there because they yanked the flag out even though it wouldn't count anyway. Uh, 422. That was my, pro my definitely my most solid drive of the day. And uh, it actually, there's this is like a bowling alley fairway. It's, it's really tough. It's like a, very narrow. But I hit it so well that it went through the, the top part of the tree and didn't hit anything solid. So I'm staying in my posture nicely. And my hands are nice and fast coming through. And you can see I'm not really, uh, my balance isn't falling over anywhere. I'm very nicely balanced at the end of that. So there's 118 yards with a gap wedge. And um, what I'm thinking here is, mon is the same thing. If you look at our uh, Monty's uh, pitch, uh, simple pitch move video, that's exactly what I did there. So you're feeling right elbow forward and cast towards the ball. So right elbow forward, and then you're just going to put the head on the ball. Blend those two things together, and the result becomes a, a very on-plane, super solid shot. And same thing with this one. My, my ball mark was about that far from the hole and jumped out to this spot. This is like a three-stepper. You can see, I, I just kind of like try to force that online. There's water over over to the uh, left of the screen, and I thought it would go towards there a little bit. And but you could see I didn't get hit my line. I kind of forced it up the high side of the line. So we're into the sun here, and I and I have zero chance of following my ball here. Now, with the do there, you can really see that's me doing that Patrick Harrington drill. So that's uh, I'm t taking a shallow divot out in front of my left foot with the driver. To really feel myself, keep myself in the swing. And that was super solid. Kind of like a smooth swing, but it just hit the center of this the face. This hole is playing right into the sun, there. so I have no idea where that went. Really well. I'm a little scared that it's in the left bunker. You know, the guys I'm playing with said good shot, but they could say good shot to anything. So I hit it super solid, but a little left, and it rolled into this bunker that's meant for really long hitters. And uh, I tried to just play that one totally clean because I had like 45 yards to the to the pin, and uh, I just didn't want to. And it was to I just didn't want to try to play a real bunker shot from there. So this is another putt. So you can see like other than the one sand shot, I have I haven't had the chip. There's all of them have been putts from the fringe. So you can see that's like four steps until there and. The way I'm chipping, I'd much, especially into the grain, I'd much rather put that one. But that one went to about this. And uh, so I'll finish it off here and another par. So uh, you can see, like, my ball striking has been pretty good. This hole is uh, the 17th hole. I haven't missed a lot of greens. Playing today 168 yards. is into some wind, but it's kind of swirling. It, it actually might not be hurting as much as I think. Anyway, I'm going to try six iron and see what we can do. We're waiting right now, but... Uh, two over and really just um if i would have made two four footers well three and a half four footers i'd be even so i'm only eight feet of putts away from that from uh, that but it's golf it's always a game of what it would have would have could have should have we're just about up okay this is a back pin 179 yards and uh this is a six iron for me. And I have it slightly choked up and I know that that's like a max number. So this is the, the pull shot that I hit. So if you guys can see why I'm slightly pulling it on some of these super solid irons. That, I mean, I mean, I hit that super solid, but the pin is to the left and you can't miss left at all. You can see a little, you know, a little manufactured hold off at that point just because I know that it is going left. but. My, somehow my angles are all getting aligned to the left. I wouldn't really call it over the top, but I think it has something to do same thing with the fast hips and slow hands. The lie that I caught here is horrendous. There's 
Let's see, those are all those, all those brown spots there are dead, is from mold or something. There's no grass where my ball is at all. So I'm kind of nervous about hitting like a like a chunk that stays in the rough. Oh, so bad. So so I I hit it too hard. Zero Not grass bad. where my ball was. Yeah, that's where my ball was where that didn't mark us. And uh, where it was. So I hit it to uh, about like 18 feet, 15 feet. And I'm really, really concentrating on trying to make this, trying to keep my head steady. And so another bogey, dude. So now I'm three over, kind of my my number right now is to be three over, it's annoying. But uh, mostly I'm thinking about my ball striking. So there I'm, uh, same thing, I'm trying to stay down in my shot. And this one I kind of teed up a little higher, and I'm, and I'm like, this is a par five. I can make a birdie and, and get one back here, kind of. So I really, really, really wanted to kill this ball. But you can see I swing under it, and I pop this one up. My hands came a little too high, and I stood up away from it a little bit too much. Yeah, my fundamentals really were super close right there. I think I just didn't adjust for the, the higher T height that I gave myself. And so I popped it up. It went dead straight. And then once I saw it, I, my balance actually wasn't too bad there. But once I saw it flying funny, that's that's when I uh, kind of like right, There's started. my ball. And you can see my ball oh, and that tree there is right in between me and the hole. I'm going to try to hit a six iron over it, which is not smart, but... I don't know, I just kinda, it just sounds fun to me, so I'm going to try to do it, even though I don't really gain much doing it because I won't get to the hole, but that's what I want to do. So here I'm setting up, I'm probably 200, because I didn't hit it very good, I'm probably 230 yards out, something like that, and that water is just in front of the hole there. So I'm over this tree and anything to a little to the, uh, to the center right of that tree is, is wet in the water. So that one, I really kind of flipped that, feel the flip at it to add some loft to it to make sure it got over that tree. Because they do kind of trap, they hit like low trap shots. But I hit, I hit it really well to, to get it left of the water and safe. Now this one, 50, exactly 50 yards. So I was like, oh, I gotta hit this, this shot good because uh, Monty and I did a video on the 50 yard shot. So let me just uh, execute the things we were thinking about there in that video, which was to uh, really feel the throwing motion and almost as if you're hitting up on it. And I did all those things really well. I just kind of kind of got left a little too early. And so you say I hit a little long left. Not a bad shot, but uh, definitely not, um, not perfect if I want to be scratched. Oh, OK. That was a great, great putt. I, that one, my head was rock, rock steady on that one. And that's it. That's me shooting 39 at El Dorado. I think, uh, I'm not too discouraged with that. Check out what I'm about to say. It's kind of, kind of interesting. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that is a gigantic spider. All right, that's another 39. So, uh, but actually, I'm uh, pretty encouraged by that uh, round because if you think of it, uh, I only had to use my, I only had to chip twice. One in the bunker that I got that up and down and the other chip I had no grass and uh, I didn't get it up and down but at least I uh, didn't create too much damage. So uh, the greens out here are, are pretty small. They're actually really small here at El Dorado. So um, it's really like, even though I don't know how many greens I hit, but me uh, being able to use my putter after my approach shot seven times. So basically it's seven greens in regulation if they were normal size greens. So as many uh, disclaimers I, as I can put on that. But my ball striking felt really good today. The, uh, the last drive that I hit um, was on a par five and I was really gearing up to try to kill it. And I uh, got under it a little bit, but it's much straighter. Definitely using that um, the Patrick Harrington drill. If you look on my channel, uh, has been helping my uh, my consistent my straightness a lot better. Just because it keeps me from getting trapped, I just get it in front. So that was working really well. Also, um, I, when with uh, my no turning cast drill, if you look on my channel, 
you'll see that it's, uh, the wrong way to do it is to go like this and then not really move your elbow and go like this. The way Monty wants you to do it is go like this and see the difference between this and this is your feeling. Anyway, so that was working uh, really well. A couple times, somehow I got over it. So I'm gonna have to look at the video and see what I was doing. Not really getting over it, but somehow the face was getting shut. My alignment was going from here to over here. And somehow my lines were getting this way. And it could have been an issue of my head getting forward. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, there is uh, a lot more super interesting stuff coming up, more stuff with Monty. I'm also going to be traveling to interview some uh, pretty big profile names that are in the works now. Uh, one guy shot me down, but some, there are there's some other really uh, hot leads. So be sure to uh, click subscribe and like, to, like this uh, channel. Also, please go to my uh, blog because I've been blogging more and more. And uh, you'll see the, the address here. It's bebettergolf.weebly.com. And uh, check that out because uh, I'm having a lot of fun writing uh, writing on there and a lot of people are interacting with me and it's probably the best way to get a hold of me if you guys have any questions or uh, let me know if you want to see anything else. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, see you next time.